I think the concept of a bubble um, in these times is very powerful um, because it's multi-layered in the sense that okay it's a bubble about kids coming together and staying safe but also um, it questions new ways of organizational uh, operations, a local organization, grassroots organization operating together so it's been interesting working with Beth from uh, Creative Cities canned food from boom baps and breaks uh, it's been very interesting working with these organizations having to pull other organizations together to be able to then create a, a greater bubble that allows young people to explore many artistic disciplines it's it's the new way of thinking about uh, organizational co cohesion i think it's been lovely to be part of Bubble Up because it's, um, it's been really nice to work with other organisations who are going through the same kind of learning process as us and to be grouped in the same um, location has been really good as well. It's a bit of support but also really good for just getting to know everyone and getting to know the area and uh, making new links. But I think it's especially exciting for the young people as well because they get to try a range of new things and because maybe they were really excited about breakdance, they got to try art and maybe they were really excited about art and never thought they could DJ, so then they tried out DJing, so that kind of thing has been, it's been really exciting. I got to deliver a project based on DJing where kids have a go at learning the basics of DJing on a controller or some other pieces of equipment and the uh, aim is by the end of the sessions for them to record a mix uh, that they can take home with them and to be christened with a new DJ name. So we had like a mix, uh, mix Master Mary, or we had a Megalodon, and we had Lexi just turned into Lex. So uh, we had some interesting names, but the kids got to choose their final name for themselves. So we've done loads of really, really exciting activities. Uh, everything from graffiti, to designing our own t-shirts and painting them, um, to learning how to draw people and faces, and um, some more like, uh, experimental mark making stuff as well. Although breaking is a very hard form to master, breaking at it, its first level really allows the young people to challenge their body, get to understand their body in a, in a very physical way, which of course is very important coming from four, four months, five months of sitting at home. Um, yeah, so it's very much focused on friendship making and physical education, understanding the body. No, it, I, when I saw um, breakdancing on the thing, my, my mum signed me up, but then I was like, I can't do breakdancing, I'm going to break my neck or something. I've learned how to do the chair, which is kind of like, which is a bridge, but not a bridge. Um, I've also learned how to do kickouts and drops. I've learned a lot of things. The sixth step. Back step. The get down. And the break. Six and a handstand into a, a roll. We have a new dance move. Well, not a move, but it's um, the kick up. If I was going to describe uh, our project in three words, I would say challenging, because we're trying to push the kids to learn something hard, it's something a bit difficult. Um, creative, because they get the time to play um, with whatever they picked up, um, you know, play with the moves, have their moment to explore the moves, create new moves. Um, and fun, because at the end of the day, dancing is about having fun. No matter how difficult it is, it's still about having fun. I learned in sketchbook, like we did graffiti and we did um, different pencils, like different kind of shades. In DJ, I learned how to mix some songs and make them the different beat per minute. Um, I've learned to mix tapes and like turn so when you switch the music you have to turn the other side slowly down at the same time and then put the play the other one i think it's helped prepare them by first thing that you do when you go to any new setting is meet new people so when you come to a bubble up sessions if it's the first time you might not know anyone in the session so this has been the first challenge for them if they don't know anyone is to get to know new people and have to socialize introduce yourselves and work with new people as well uh, whether it's older people or people your age group too. That's one thing that's uh, I think has definitely helped them. Um, um, we look forward to carry on developing with the organisations and with the uh, with the organisation in our bubble uh, and with the young people that have been attending the sessions so far. And we hope we take it forward into school. So hopefully this is a, a, a door to a paradox of creativity.